My name is Bianca Poblano and I go to Oak Grove High School. I'm currently a senior and I'm the president of Environmental Action Club. So tell me what got you excited about this project? Well, I got really excited because in the beginning of the school year, Ms. Claudio, um, the advisor of our group, like told us about a project that she had in mind for like many years but couldn't be accomplished. So she told us and was like, oh yeah, would Environmental Action Club like, be interested in like helping and making this, like completing this project? And we were like, of course we would. So I was so excited to be able to like make the campus look more aesthetically pleasing and beautiful because I feel like even, um, the exterior of a campus kind of gives you the first judgment of a school and I want people to look at our school and be like, yeah, that's pretty. What was the incident in your life that happened that you would like to share? Um, an incident would probably be just probably sophomore year. I decided to go into Latino Student Union and like my freshman year I did nothing. I was so shy. I like didn't enroll in any clubs. The only thing I did was soccer and then sophomore year I joined Latino Student Union. I was like Oh, I actually like these clubs. I actually like doing this. Like, I enrolled in debate. I did so many things, and now I'm here. Like, I just think taking that initial step was very important in, like, getting the confidence and being able to, like, grow as a person and everything. Yeah. Awesome. What is the one thing all the students can do to get the same kind of excitement that you got going to the Latino club? Um, just... Just don't be afraid to take that first step because, yeah, the first year I was too afraid. I felt like, oh yeah, I'm a freshman. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not worthy to like go. I don't know, I was just scared of being judged, but you shouldn't be scared. I mean, I know it's hard, but I think you just need to like kind of have that little jump and leap because it will be worth it. Who is the most influential person in your life besides your parents? Um, right now, currently, because I've been through the whole college application process, is my dad's friend's wife. Um, her name is Katie, and I'm so grateful to her because she is the first person that I know that went to Berkeley and was like kind of like a family, kind of like friend family person. And since I'm like first generation, like none of my family went to like Berkeley, they haven't really gone to like college. She was just so important and giving me confidence and like, yeah, you could do it, like you could apply. And then she read over my essays and she just helped me so much. And like, not even just college essays, but also like, um, like she's gonna keep up with me and like help me through the college experience. So I have her like there to like support me and I know she's gonna be there. Was it? Was there a teacher that inspired you in the classroom? Uh, Miss Claudio. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so um, uh, my junior year, so last year, um, she inspired me to do the science project, the science fair, and I honestly never thought I was going to do a science project. Like, that was something completely new that I never thought I would do. And when she, like, mentored us, we were actually able to win the um, Science Palooza, so like the district one, and I never thought that was going to happen. And then just competing in Synopsis, and she helped us so much through that. That was just amazing, and I'm very grateful for that. How have your friends reacted to your accomplishments, and uh, how has it affected you? Um, they're very like supportive, and I'm really grateful for that also because I know they're there for me and like I'm going to be there for them too. It's just like a mutual thing. They're, yeah. So what will be your major in the college? So in college I want to major in psychology because I just think mental health is so important and like in the future hopefully I could become a um, physician assistant in pediatrics and since like pre-med is kind of like it's kind of like pre-health it's more like biology based and like physical stuff and I just want to be able to help emotionally also because also because in kids because they're very vulnerable so I just want to be able to like help them both physically and emotionally. Which university or college do you plan to attend? You said it was a Berkeley, is that correct? Um, I said UCLA, that's my dream school, a, a dream. Um, also UCSB is a really nice like school that I would love to go to. So basically a school in the UC system, hopefully.
Yeah. What do you like to do when you are not in school? Well, not in school. I play soccer, so I play on the school team and I'm also on a competitive team, so that takes up a lot of time. And um, yeah, just hanging out with friends and family. And okay. That's it, yeah. Well, thank you, Bianca. And thank you. It.